are people who have access to the internet and who are currently using it to watch this video. My name is Pun Feud, or just Pun if you prefer. And uh, you can already see what we did last time because uh, here it is: all 14 treasures that we collected and all eight Pikmin deaths. Um, and we are really close um, to paying off that debt. Anyway, back in the perplexing pool. Um. I now have to decide what I want to do. Um. Unfortunately, I lost, like, four purple Pikmin. Um. So. I only have 37 now. I think. I think I know exactly what I want to do. Um. Considering that I think it'll be easier to get to the other cave I have in mind, um, like later, I think it's time we get out a hundred blue Pikmin. Um, and I guess we'll head over this way. Oh, we could take out the Toady Bloister, um, like... I don't know, I don't want to have to wait for... Oh, come on. Don't have to be so annoying. Okay. Luckily we saved him. Let's hope there's nothing bad in these eggs. As I want to break them open so that we may... We couldn't get everyone flowered because some people weren't even in my squad to begin with. Dwarf bull bears are already here. I don't remember them being here um, when I played the game. Maybe I finished up Perplexing Pool, like, quicker? Um, perhaps it was because I wasn't doing... trying to do a Let's Play? Perhaps it was just straight up, um... I was better at, uh... I was better at, what do you want to call it, um... These guys are already back? What's the point of taking you out if you're just gonna come back, like, as soon as I do? Huh. Wonder what the weird box thing is for. Or the wooden poles, I guess, would be accurate. Okay. I get it. Why do some of the enemies respawn? Anyway. Let's get all the Pikmin that we can onto this thing. Um... There's still at least one Leaf Pikmin. I guess I'll have to remain as the only Leaf Pikmin as we had in here. Um, this is the most dangerous dungeon in this level and perhaps maybe one of the most dangering in the game. Dangerous in the game. Interesting. Deeper sections of this hole seem to be submerged in liquid. Sadly, I am a delicate piece of machinery that is sensitive to water. You two must go alone. Why do you look at me with such scornful expressions? I am an expensive machine. Fine, I'll go, but this want wantonly reckless treatment of company property will be reported. Alright. If you've played this game, you know what this is. This is... <coughs> Excuse me. This is the submerged castle. It is every hazard, but only blue Pikmin can enter. Also, if you've played Pikmin 4, you kind of know what this is. The engulfed castle is a direct parallel to this dungeon. Um, I believe it's the same number of floors. Five in each game. This one might be six, though. Um, I can't remember. So, we now have to navigate a dungeon with every element, with only blue Pikmin. And also, well, other stuff that we'll encounter along the way. Um, so, what we want to do 
is we want to get that blue Pikmin to wake the guy up. Then we want to use our bitter spray to make sure he is turned to stone. Um, hard stone in a mere instant, ultra bit stops him. Basically, it's ice Pikmin from Pikmin 4, but in spray form. Um, and we want to do this because um, we want him trapped in the water, because unlike in Pikmin 4, if he leaves the water, he will become reignited like instantly, I believe. But he is a treasure, so we need to take him out. Um, Pikmin 4's equivalent of this dungeon is much easier, I think because the levels aren't randomly generated um, in Pikmin 4. Um, anyway, bug bait. Um, also, another thing is that all the treasures in this dungeon, um, at least in these first floors here, are really low value. This is the pastry wheel. Um, so that's another thing. But, in Pikmin 4, this, the equivalent of this dungeon is easier because A, it's not randomly generated, and B, it's not, um, oh. Come on. Stop. Get a hold of yourself. But also, uh, let's leave Olimar to, um, stand by the exit should the need arise. Um, to just get out of here. But yeah, this first floor is themed around fire, and we only have 100 blues. Luckily, with 100 Pikmin against the weakest hazard in all of Pikmin history, we should be fine. That was almost... bad. Um, yeah, fire is, in my opinion, the weakest hazard. Electricity is the most dangerous, except in Pikmin 3, because in this game it's instant death, and in Pikmin uh, 4, it not only leaves your Pikmin paralyzed on the ground, but it can kill them after a few seconds. Um, anyway, this... Um, but yeah, the only reason I think that this, um, that Pikmin 2's version of this level is more difficult than Pikmin 4's is simply because, um... Okay. There we go. That's our... Sorry, I'm trying to get through this as fast as possible. This is the Diet Doomer, and that's everything on this floor, so we might as well just have Olimar jump in the hole, um, because we want to get out of here. Um, so Pikmin 4's version is easier, I think, because it's not randomly generated, and as such, the you know, you can form a strategy to attacking these floors. Um, also, there are more safe zones from enemies and such. Um, and also, I think they had to balance the enemy difficulty itself around you not having a full squad of 100 blue Pikmin. Um... Unfortunately, um, though, sub-level 2 is, I think, just themed around general, um, there might be more fire here. Yeah, I think that's a fiery dweevil up there. Oh! You also appear this early in the game. I was not aware. You are a careening dirigi bug, and you throw bomb rocks. Um... Bomb rocks suck. Luckily, you can kind of predict where he's going to try and throw them, based on where he's facing. But that's not much help. Um... And also, even when you get him down on the ground, he still drops... a bomb. Um, if he's holding one in his hands, which I think is a very stupid way to go about it. Anyway, took him out. Now, we have to effectively go down this tube here. Um, and 
there is you. Um... Which, unfortunately, uh, just killed six of my Pikmin. Uh, eight of my Pikmin. But we had to kill it for that treasure, so... Luckily, everyone should be moving as fast as they can, so... Um... This should be all the Pikmin here. Um... Well, we start carrying this stuff. There's the fire dweevils. Are they gonna drop down to go after our stuff? Um... Doesn't seem like they really are. Right now? Oh, there it is. Okay. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're all fine, guys. Okay. We don't need to carry it back. Where? Everyone's okay, right? We shouldn't have... Nobody died, so I'm going to presume we're all okay. Anyway, uh, I still need to take down that gate. Ugh. Um, chocolate cushion. Um, the one thing is, is Pikmin 4 has set cave layouts, unlike this game, which has, you know, random, randomly generated cave layouts. But, Pikmin 4's version of this cave actually, um, completely, uh, just says, um, that, um, they just use one of the many possible randomly generated cave layouts in this game to make up its floors in Pikmin 4. Anyway, comfort cookie. Yeah, all the treasures in this cave are not worth that much. Anyway, we have 92 and 92. Still a sizable squad, and blue Pikmin are, I believe, our most populous, so we're not losing too much. Um... But... Alright. Now, I just need you to die, thank you. Uh, here's the cave exit. Um, only the first floor had a geyser as sort of a, like, here's your last chance to bail now that you know what you're in for. You know. The other floors don't. Uh, well, they carry that back. I'm gonna presume there aren't any dweevils there. And I'm going to have the rest of my Pikmin open that up. And it should be as simple as them going over there. I'm worried that I spent such a long time on this level, but I thought I was moving pretty quick. Um, I might want to start doing a lap like on my stopwatch to actually track the time intervals for sublevels. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Alright. So yeah. The first two floors of this cave, um, I believe this is it for all the first two floors. Confection hoop. Okay. So the first two floors of this cave, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, it's the third floor that I'm worried about. Um, the third floor where I reset, like, ten times when I first played this game. This floor is brutal. Electricity in this game is brutal. Um, in Pikmin 4, this is probably where most people would be convinced to pull out yeah, um, Glow Pikmin for the first time. Not the third floor, necessarily, but the engulfed castle. Or I guess, you know. Um. In Pikmin 2, you have no such luxury. Surprisingly, it didn't get anyone. 
Oh, I hate these hills. I hate the hills. I hate the hills. They caused me to slide down them. And one Pikmin fainted, or died. It's not too big a deal. Because behind here is... Our hopefully ultimate... Oh my god, this floor sucks. Our ultimate reward of five white Pikmin. You need these guys not to deal with poison hazards necessarily, but instead to find buried treasure. Um, luckily Pikmin 4 doesn't have the white Pikmin in it um, to help you. I say luckily because I think I prefer, um, you know, not having the other types of Pikmin that aren't blue. Um, and that's because in Pikmin 4, there are only um, white Pikmin. Or no. What am I trying to say? In Pikmin 4, white Pikmin don't have the ability to see underground... Well, they do, but all Pikmin can see underground treasures. Um, which I'm glad they took away from white Pikmin, because it just makes more sense. It means you don't have to bring them even to places without poison. Anyway, this is... This is basically the inferior glow Pikmin. These are the Boldmen, which will be acting as basically our sacrifices. Um, they are immune to all elemental hazards, but unlike glow Pikmin, they can't use the glow mob. Um, so, yeah. Unfortunately, this further slows down gameplay because now. I feel like I have to, uh, um, I have to, uh, use the Boldman to take out all the electric hazards. And unfortunately, this is all that we have for this floor. And look at how many electric hazards there are. Luckily, um, the unfort real unfortunate part is that there aren't any, um, Oh god. The real unfortunate part is that there aren't any, um... Is that the electric hazards just move too fast for any other Pikmin type to really keep up. Um... I'm gonna task Louie specifically with standing around with the white Pikmin in a corner for now. Um... Because... We'll first send them after this thing, then I think we take out the, uh, Anode Beetle. Um... And let's flip you over again. I don't think Louie's actually taking damage, so that's good. Um... Let's get ready so that we can just knock him over again. <sighs> it is unfortunate that electricity is instant death, and this is why this cave sucks, and this sub-level specifically sucks. It is because electric. Electric is such an unfair hazard in this game where, you know, it's instant death. Um, so, it just makes it really hard to get through this place, you know, when... You know, there's this whole floor dedicated to the electric hazards. And, you know, your only Pikmin that can deal with it is very limited in number. You know. And you can't risk your whole squad being lost to, um, electricity. You know, because, like, then you have nothing, you know. Luckily... Okay, once we get through there, we should now, I don't quite trust this Anode Dweevil to behave itself, so I'm gonna try and get, um, make sure this guy dies before we do anything else. Um, break the egg, please. I don't need you to be flowers right now. Um, what's over here? Is that... The, no, okay. 
Well, I know where the exit is. It's wherever this guy is. Uh, interesting. I was hoping we wouldn't run into him. In Pikmin 4, you can get through the whole engulf castle without running into this guy. But in Pikmin 2, you're pretty much guaranteed to run into the Water Wraith. Um, attacking it's futile. There is nothing we can do to it. All we can do is run away. Anyway, that's just an egg. Top priority is saving our Pikmin. Um, but now, it is very difficult to get through this cave, um, without him smushing us. Uh, fun fact though, um, in, there is actually no difference between the Water Wraith's behavior in Pikmin 4 and Pikmin 2. Um, well wait, that's not true. Behavior, yes, but like... Um, his, like, overall mechanics, there isn't much of a difference. Um, seems like he's gonna mostly avoid us. Let's take out this guy. He doesn't have a treasure, but it would be troublesome if he got rid of all our flowers. Um, while we were trying to, you know, not... Of course he had to be greedy. Um, the white Pikmin should be safe because the Water Wraith isn't really smart enough yet to fully pursue them, but now it's a game of Wraith and Captain. Um, and unfortunately, luckily I got rid of like most of the electric hazards. Okay, we need to go. We need to just head over here, get into the corner, get into here, let him pick it up, don't worry about it, hopefully the wraith comes and just flattens him. The wraith actually isn't as good in this game as he is in Pikmin 4. Um, I don't know if he can flatten him well. If we had Rock Pikmin, they would have nothing to fear. Um... No, 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 no. Get off of it. Don't let him shock us. Okay. Uh, this is what I mean with Pikmin 2 playing like a slower game. Um... Unfortunately, okay, luckily that worked, but now, how about getting this thing back? How will that work? If I see him coming, we drop it and run. We're dropping it and running. Well, wait. This might be our chance. We need this cookie. So... Go over. He's stuck for now. He's stuck- okay, yeah. He can't turn as well as he can in Pikmin 4. What was I saying? I need a break. Hold on, I'm so stressed out. Um... Succulent mattress. Um... So actually, it takes the same amount of time for the Wraith to spawn in Pikmin 2 and Pikmin 4. The difference is actually um, just in how Pikmin 2 plays. Pikmin 2 is a slower game. Um, and as such... Um, uh, we have too many Pikmin, so when they spread out like that... Unfortunately, because of the way this game is lighted, lightened, lit, because of the g way the game is lit, it actually becomes fairly hard to see where the wraith is. Um, but the real reason the wraith spawns in Pikmin 2 more than it does in 4 is because 
Pikmin 2 is a slower game. The game incentivizes playing slow. Um, I have a feeling that this wall here is just nectar and also a place to hide from the wraith because the wraith can't handle corners too well if you hide in a corner. Um, but I'm glad that in Pikmin 4 they realized, oh yeah, we need to give you some safe spots from the wraith, at least, you know, around your base and such, you know. So they put more safe spots where the wraith couldn't enter in Pikmin 4, but... <sighs> now he's in the part of the map that we need to get to for the rest of the stuff. <sighs> Unfortunately, if I lose more than, like, my designated you know, appropriate amount of Pikmin, I will probably have to reset. Um, and I hate how the camera is acting. Alright, yeah. The Wraith is actually pretty easy in Pikmin 2, like, AI-wise. It's really in Pikmin 4 where it gets difficult. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't even go all the way in. Okay. Let's head over here. Let's just take out you before you cause me any more problems. Okay. And you have our last treasure, too. Okay. Interesting. Um... I'll let them take that out while we hide everybody else in the corner, effectively. Um... Guess I don't need to. I'd rather just get this thing open. Okay. Where is he? He's annoying them back at the base. So... Get over in here. Okay, collecting these last couple treasures is going to be difficult. We'll get as many Pikmin on each of them as possible. Oh no. Okay, he's coming after us. He's coming after us for now. Should be making it back to base. But the problem is that the base is not protected, meaning he can just go under there and roll them. Uh, which sucks. <sighs> but, come on. Get over in the corner. We don't need that. I was just trying to direct the other guys. Come on. Grab it, and if it looks dangerous, we'll drop it. But, can hardly tell where he is. Hopefully he's off bullying someone else. He sounds pretty close, though. He's right there. Okay. He's far enough away. We should be able to get out of this alive. This was the electricity sub-level. Um, so the first one was fire, the second one was kind of water, even though we already have water. This third one's electricity. I believe the fourth one is either bombs or poison. Not sure. I think this cave might have six sublevels and not five, like in Pikmin 4. Um. Because, um, in Pikmin 4, bombs wasn't really a hazard, per se. Anyway, submerged castle sublevel 4. Um. Unless they just mixed poison and bombs in this game. I can't remember. Um, I haven't really talked about Boldman too much, actually. Oh my god, yeah, they mix bombs and poison. Okay. Can the bomb rock explode the thing? Does it? Oh, it can. Cool. Um, in that case, I'm just gonna... There's another Boldman parent which I don't think has a uh, treasure like the other one. Um, but 
it is still worth taking out so that it's not going to eat any of her Pikmin. I don't know, I think the Bulbmen are kind of stupid. Um... Oh my god. Okay. There's probably a careening Gragey bug that's gonna spawn down here. I'm scared. Yep, there it is. Alright, get it away, get it away, get away. Oh no! Bomb rocks from the ceiling, which are unfair because bomb explosions instantly kill Pikmin. But I think crushing is a worse hazard still. Because even though, yeah, technically bombs, you know, give you time to react, I do think, you know, it's very unforgiving time to react. There's not a whole lot of it, you know. There's the exit, so we'll send you three to just work on that. Well, all right, we already know it's going to be a trap. Weevil, Dirigi bug, no? Okay. Well then, let's get the remainder of you guys kind of on this. Opening up the exit is a good priority to have. Um, I'm gonna trust those guys to be fine. Because if they're not, that would really suck. Anyway. What just happened? Oh my god, I was right. Pikmin 2 does incentivize you to play slower. I should have stuck with the Pikmin. Oh my god. Well, we got more Boldmen. But what else did we lose? We have 4 white Pikmin, 80 blues. And 84, meaning that 10 Boldmen. Okay. 80 blues, meaning we technically lost... 20, but five of those got converted to whites, but then you figure we lost a white. We still have enough to dig for buried treasure, should we need to, but... No, which were, Let's just get you out of the way. Alright. Mmm. Oh my god. No! Oh my god! <sighs> Volatile Dweevils, stupid. Oh my god! Oh my god, can you stop? Can you stop? Can can you guys just stop, please? Uh, it's better to do this now when the water wraith isn't after us, can you know, but like God What is the problem? Okay. Let's Get this egg. It can only be good. Because if it wasn't, I would be sad. <sighs> Luckily, I haven't had to reset yet. I think that just means that my skills have slightly improved. Why are we breaking this down? Is there even anything... Was there no point to even coming over here? Oh my god. Here. Act as bait. Um... Okay. Got mostly everyone. Uh... Still a f at least one white leaf Pikmin and one Boldman didn't get any. Um... Did I go through here? I think so. So all that's left is over here. I don't know if it's gonna react if I don't have any Pikmin, but I'm just gonna double check and see what I actually need to do. Well, there's a bomb. So there's the treasure. Basically, I need to get my squad through here. There's another bomb. Um... I don't know. Never been a huge fan of the Boldman. Like, it's kinda cool, but like... I don't know. It just feels awkward to, like, wield Bulborb Pikmin. Um, like, and there's the Water Wraith. 
Um, so, now, Water Wraith is going to be after us. Where are you? Why are you over here? Get with the program. Okay. Now, I don't know where he is. Let's just send 12 blue Pikmin on that. And hope we're going to be okay. Um... He's coming! He's coming, luckily... Okay, he's not coming as fast as I thought. Okay. We should have left someone right by the exit so I could just swap to them and leave. Uh, hopefully this is last floor. Proton AA. Right. There's probably buried treasure because they gave us white Pikmin on the previous floor. Where it is, though, I'm not certain. Is reacting when we go this way? Kinda, sorta? Is it... over... here? Okay, it's a glint beetle. Come on. There we are. Um... Okay, unfortunately I have white Pikmin in my squad, so I can't go through the water with them. Um... And then hopefully... So, is there no buried treasure? Was it just the glint beetle? Hopefully. But, I wouldn't be surprised if there was another floor of this hell. I remember this being like a ton of resets on my first playthrough of this game. Pale Passion. That's everything. So now I just need to get to the exit, which I can do by not going there. Okay. And now I have just enough time to sneak around him and go down here. Alright. That's pretty good. <sighs> but... It does, um, this is, this is the final floor, okay. Got lucky, I guess, um, there's an egg, there's the egg, there's a bunch of eggs, there's the exit, there's purple Pikmin, there's the exit, so, then there's the boss, and there's more purples. I would really love to take down the wall without accidentally breaking the egg because I don't want any of these guys to get flowers before I'm ready for oh I think they might already all have flowers okay um well that one white is probably gonna no okay um I should no I should have exactly ten boldmen Boldman can't be taken outside the cave, so they are going to be our sacrifices. Um, Louie, you're going to take these guys, we're going to break down this gate, and then Olimar is going to sacrifice his uh, other Boldman. You know, I don't know, never been a huge fan of the Boldman. Um, to me, I think I've just preferred, um, like, I don't know, something about it, you know, not being able to be taken outside of caves, like, I feel like Glow Pikmin at least have a good reason, you know, but the Boldmen don't. Well, I won't say they don't, but it just doesn't feel right. Like, the Glow Pikmin only being able to exist in, you know, dark areas, to me that makes logical sense. You know, so I guess, you know, the bulb men just don't, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, everyone should have flowers, so what we want is we want to completely separate Olimar, go like that, and then Louie, you're going to go it alone. 
go into here, and the water wraith just drops from the ceiling. Um, the water wraith is the boss of this dungeon, and his weakness is purple Pikmin, which wasn't really explained until Pikmin 4, where it's like, oh yeah, purple Pikmin can generate gravitational waves, you know? Um, and that, and it warps space-time, and he's a creature that exists between dimensions, and as such, you know... But, uh, anyway, he can still hurt your purple Pikmin, because they're not immune to being crushed, so make sure you get a good angle on him when trying to, uh, you know, hit him with a purple Pikmin. Especially since you have to throw them pretty close to his body. Um, anyway... He's pretty much a joke now, um, which is kind of fun, but also it's just kind of like, you know, I didn't struggle with him much this time through the cave, which is nice, um, you know, I think I got a little lucky with the floor layouts, but also I was definitely not as frustrated, um, with the game as I was, um, Why won't... There we go. I definitely, you know... When I first played this game, I was definitely... I was, like, playing it all in one sitting, and I got very frustrated with the game. Um... Anyway... We now have this air horn. Or, not an air horn, but just, you know, a horn. A... Me megaphone, maybe? It's... No, it's probably a megaphone base or head or whatever. Definitely not an air horn. Um, but anyway, this is the professional noisemaker. How insulting? Oh, uh, if I read more, I would know why he said insulting. Okay. Basically, this gives us the pluckophone, which allows us to pluck Pikmin by whistling them. Which means I don't necessarily feel as much of a burden by leaving Pikmin planted near the young inn, but um, let's get as many of our Pikmin flowered before leaving. Um, luckily we got ten more purple Pikmin, which is nice, but anyway, now we just have to tear down the wall and we should be good to go. But that was Submerged Castle with basically, you know... Very few casualties, uh, relatively speaking. So, let's escape to the surface. Um. And. We have. How many treasures in here? 13. And the only 17 deaths. Pretty good. Um. But these treasures aren't worth much, um, except for the uh, drone supply and activity arouser and the professional noisemaker. Which, it's like the hardest cave, but you hardly get any reward other than the pluckophone itself, you know, being able to pluck Pikmin by whistling. Um, I don't know. So, I don't think, th I think the cave is harder because Pikmin 2 endorses a slower playstyle, meaning it's more likely you'll encounter the Wraith before the last floor. Um, and I think Pikmin 2 doesn't have as great... I think the other thing is that they give you white Pikmin in the cave, so that makes it slightly harder. Um, in terms of just, like, adding more Pikmin that aren't blue Pikmin to the squad. You know? So... why did it say one? Okay. So now, I want to enter 80 yellow, ten, 15 purple, um, purples will be useful for sure, but do I want, I forget if there's treasure in this next cave that I need white Pikmin for. I want to say no, like, because I remember only bringing yellow and purple Pikmin to this next cave, but 
Um, I guess it was a really smart decision of me to get, like, all of the overworld unlocked before pursuing, um, any of the other, uh, any of the caves. Because it does suck that all these enemies, like, respawn. But it does mean that I can now, um, get, like, you know, all three of the remaining caves done on the same day, you know? Potentially still leaving time to spare. Um... I guess while we're here, considering I have the time, I can have Purple Pikmin break these eggs. And Purple Pikmin are immune to uh, fear in this game. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they dropped any uh, spicy, so... or bitter... I don't remember, can Matites drop spicy and bitter spray in this game? Hmm, maybe not. Anyway, uh, let's also see. Nope, not spicy. Alright, here it is, we haven't even discovered this cave yet, even though we unlocked it. This is... My odor detectors are reacting, strong scent, machine scents, both drooling, Alright. The one thing, it just has electricity, but again, buried treasures might mean white Pikmin. I don't know. Um, the one thing, though, is I like in Pikmin 4, like, I like the descriptions before holes in Pikmin 4 that actually inform you on potential strategies and stuff versus the ship's descriptions in this game, which can sometimes leave you with, like, no information. So, but I guess all that's left is to dive into Glutton's Kitchen next time! But for now, my name has been and will be tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that, and it always will be, Pun Food! I really thought that the submerged castle was gonna be harder. Like, I was confident I could maybe make it through the first two floors, of course, but I remember resetting, like, at least ten times on the other two floors combined. Maybe it was because I got really lucky this time, or maybe it was because my knowledge of the game has increased, further supporting my personal belief that, you know, Pikmin, you know, isn't necessarily difficult, um, isn't necessarily easy, but it's because we have so much knowledge, but, you know... Yeah, I really thought it was going to be more difficult, but I think it's just, you know, some factor of those two ideas. <laughs>